Thank you for that introduction, Christian. I'm honored to have been invited to chair this event, which is such an important expression of the power of our profession. I'll never forget the support that CPJ provided when earlier in my career, a journalist I helped assign was kidnapped in Gaza. That episode ended well, but not all of them do, as we will be reminded tonight. I'm joined by a number of colleagues tonight, but I especially want to thank my colleague Bill Whitaker for being a presenter at this event. This past year, Bill was the most prolific correspondent at 60 Minutes. So thanks for that, Bill. <laughs> Bill's done extensive reporting for us overseas, in Mexico, um, and in Mexico, so has another CBS News correspondent who's with us tonight, Manuel Bajorquez. <laughs> Manny reported a story a special primetime story this year about the murders of journalists in the Mexican states of Guerrero, Veracruz, La Paz, Sinaloa, Jalisco, Baja, and Chihuahua, and among the victims in this last Miroslava breach, whom you'll be hearing more about later this evening. CPJ's Carlos Laria was interviewed for our report, for Manny's report, and he was an important part of bringing that story to a mass audience. The work of this great organization around the world needs the support of all of us in the media. I'm proud to say that it has the support of CBS, beginning at the top with our chairman and CEO, Leslie Moonves. He has encouraged Bill and Manny and all of us at CBS News in our work and in our participation here tonight. I want to thank all of you who are helping make this event a success. One supporter of this event said to me about America, that everything America touches, she has the potential to elevate. Now, in the case of our free press, which we represent tonight, what America touches, calls attention to, she elevates greatly. And there are no better examples than the stories that are being told here tonight. We in the press have an important job to do to carry that forward. Tonight, we honor the work of journalists who have faced great hardships, risked their lives, too often lost their lives, in order to shine light on impunity in some of the darkest corners of the world. We're moved by their passion to find and report the stories we need people to read, hear, and see. They have a special kind of courage. They take risks to tell these stories, no matter the sacrifice. Would you? Would you risk it all to tell these stories? While you ask yourself that, consider this question, what are we not covering that should be getting more attention? To the, news, the fellow newsroom leaders who are here tonight, I ask, what are we missing? What stories are we not telling enough? Unprecedented state control in China, a purge in Saudi Arabia, ethnic cleansing in Southeast Asia, failing government of South Africa, and that's just to name a few. All of us in this room lose sleep over the safety of those who work with us and those who work for us in difficult, dangerous places. Like all of the news organizations here tonight, we support journalists willing to take the risks on behalf of their readers and listeners and viewers and their right and need to be informed. It's our job to fight for these journalists to work in as safe an environment as possible here and abroad. It's also our obligation to make sure their work is presented in as safe and credible an environment as possible. Look, good reporting is built on a foundation of journalistic standards and practices which news organizations take great pains to adhere to. And that is not the case 
with all platforms. It pains me when our solid, fact-based, fact-checked reporting appears online alongside demonstrably false items. We're being responsible in our journalism, and technology platforms need to do their part. Now, we're lucky. Here in the United States, our rights as journalists to practice our profession aren't buried in law. They're not just in the Constitution, in, they're not just an amendment to the Constitution, they're in the Bill of Rights as the very first amendment to the Constitution. But they share that amendment with petition, assembly, religion, a host of other important rights. Just four words, or of the press, include our work in these rights, fragile rights. We take that responsibility seriously as protectors of that precious freedom to get it right on every story, on every platform, every time. I know you'll agree, especially as you hear about the heroism of tonight's honorees. Thank you, and thank you for your support of CPJ and all of this important work.